this video we're going to be doing the continuation if i may say like a second part of um a review and a test of the of this uh, sublimation paper this box has 110 i'm not going to talk a lot about this one right now because i'm going to put a link of the video that i made when i sublimated on a t-shirt so i'm just going to say the very basic this company has not yet come out with the uh, the sublimation paper for coffee mugs. So what you need to do is you get your eight and a half by eleven and you cut it to size. So for this video, you're going we're going to be using the uh, a a cutter. You're going to need be needing a piece of butcher paper that you're going to put in be put in around to hold it those of you who are already experienced with sublimation know what i'm talking about but if you are not um, familiar with it uh you need a piece of butcher paper of course you need your uh print sheet that i already cut to size to do what i want to do and the coffee mug that you want to use so you're going to need your coffee mug and you're going to need heat tape also, I'm gonna put links of all the items that, I, that I'm using for this video. So you can just click on the link and you can go purchase them, okay? So that's what we did. We, we just um, cut the, the, the uh, piece of paper that we need to the size we needed. And this is the side that you use to print the white. And this is slightly like a pinkish, but very, very light, but you print on the white side, okay? And these, uh, this company, their paper requires, for uh, mugs, requires uh, 356, between 356 and 374 for 170 or 190 seconds in between that and a medium, um, medium pressure. Right now, just a little thing that I said also on the other video, I have never seen a sublimation paper that holds the color so vibrant. Uh, and that's one thing that I really like. If you look at the image, see how nice and vibrant they are? So we're just gonna go through the process. I'm gonna go ahead and um, and put the the image where I want it. I'm gonna tape it. Then here we are. I got this from Heat Press Nation. If you haven't purchased from them, go ahead and check them out. They are super good. The, the machines that they have are super nice and very durable. So you can see here that I have my temperature at 374 Fahrenheit in 190 seconds. So what I'm basically going to do, I already, uh, I think I have that already what I needed. The last thing I printed was a coffee mug. So let's see here. So all I'm going to do is put my coffee mug in there and see if the pressure is sufficient right there. So there it is. Okay, so it's ready. So let's check it out. Open it. Make sure you be careful the way you grab it because it can, it is hot. We always like to have a microfiber uh, rag uh, to, to hold it. And I like to hold it like this, just in case not everything was printed. Um, they did, the sublimation didn't go through, so I can put it out a little longer. Okay, you always have to be prepared for and everything. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so here's one side. And let me turn it the other way. You know what, I'm gonna, I said it once and I'm gonna say it again. It does not disappoint. This is the best uh, sublimation paper that I have ever used. I mean, look at this. Look at how beautiful that looks. Look at that. So I'm going to put it on my website as well. Mommy's Marketplace. M-O-M-I-S Marketplace. If you want to make them, you can go ahead and order them from me. Okay, I'm also going to put the link where I get the coffee mugs. Where you, if you buy $149 or more, you get free shipping. So, you know, doesn't disappoint. Great, beautiful. I love it. Here it is. So that's all I have for you guys. 
may the Lord bless you today and every day. Have a happy day. And until next time, thank you.